Hello guys, this is Cyprian from FU4. Uh, it's always better when you have a demonstration than actually just uh, the text. So it's more real and it, sh it just makes you understand much better how it works. So here uh, I'll just do a very simple model and I will try to export it uh, into an Astron file to show you how the elements are actually interpreted. Uh, so I'm talking about CAD file, but you have to understand that there's two types of uh, geometry. You have the geometry of the CAD, but if you're doing CAE and FEA analysis, then you have also the geometry of the mesh elements, uh, which are much more regular. So here I'll show you how the geometry of those elements is actually exported into data format, because it's very easy to understand. Uh, much easier than if you look at the structure of a real CAD file. So, uh, first of all, in all the software you will always find uh, features like that to import, export CAD, and uh, every software supports a different type of format. So, for example, this one supports uh, all these formats. Um, and it basically depends on the software, so that's not a that's not really uh, interesting. What is interesting is how um, how this kind of CAD format actually interprets the data uh, and transform it into a text kind of uh, data file. So let's build something really simple. So what can I do? what can I build which is really really simple? So uh, let's build directly the mesh elements rather than uh, building the CAD and then building. So here, uh, let's create some nodes first. So let's create, let's say, two, three elements maybe. So one, two nodes. Let's put one node here, one node here, and one node here. And let's, let's uh, create elements, so 2D elements from those nodes. So here I have one triangle. Okay, I need a property. So let's let's put a property here. Okay. Apply. Apply here. Okay, so now I have four triangles. So basically, I kind of mesh my domain. So that's not a typical mesh uh, that you would use to do analysis, of course. That's just a test to show you how it works. So now I have uh, four elements and I have one, two, three, four, five nodes. So let's, say, uh, let's see how this is actually exported into a file. So to export into a file, first I have to create analysis here. And then I can export it into, uh, yeah, uh, not like that. I have to go here and export into Nastrin. Okay. So I have to save it somewhere. And okay, now let's open the file and see what we have inside. Okay, so I just uh, opened the file that I exported uh, using a simple text editor. So as you see, the content is really readable because there's only quite a few things, so not really much. And here you find a few recognizable things inside this file. So you find those are the data related to the analysis definition. Here you have the coordinates. Uh, the function, the material data, the property data, and here we find the nodes and the elements. So, as you can see, the four triangular elements that I created, I actually interpreted as uh, as a ser series of coordinates that corresponds to the value of the nodes of the grid. So the nodes have a particular position with the coordinates. So the first node is 0, 0, 0, as you can see here. Uh, then the second is 100, 0, 0, etc. 
and then the triangular element is composed so this is the number of the element and this is uh, this is the this is I don't know what is this one but this one is the number of the node so and then you know that each you have definition of each element so uh, why am I showing you this kind of simplistic approach uh, in order to make you understand how a so simple kind of geometry is actually saved into text now if you have a very complex uh, geometry in 3D with a lot of features and a lot of parts uh, you can imagine how much complex the text file transcription can actually be but that's why uh, there are different CAD formats and there are different ways to translate that and this also explains why you have errors uh, during the translation import and export uh, not all the features will be translated properly uh, inside the file. Maybe if I export in a certain format and the software I'm using uh, doesn't have a very good CAD translator to import this type of format, then uh, I may get something deformed or missing a part or, so, or maybe something will be changed a bit. So that's what you should understand about CAD formats. Uh, it's not really about the format itself. The format is itself is just a way to save the data into a certain pattern. Uh, it's about the translator system or feature that your uh, software is actually using and there are various type of CAD translators available on the market. So developers that develop this software they may be uh, they decided to use a certain uh, CAD translator from a certain company and this company decided to, to, to translate CAD file in a certain manner in order to open them and import export them. And so the reliability of the import and the export really depends on this, uh, this import export uh, translator system. So that's it. So basically uh, this is, I think you have, and I hope you have a much more uh, clear view of what it's uh, how uh, a geometry is actually translated into data and text file. So thank you very much for watching. And as usual, if you have questions or something, uh, please post them on the blog. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I invite you to visit my blog to take a look at all the articles I have on FE analysis from basics to advanced. You'll find a lot of contents and interesting stuff and you will learn a lot from everything I'm writing. Um, you can also join the newsletter and I will send you directly by email all the new articles and much more. So see you on the blog and inside the newsletter.